not have chosen a better venue for this one. It's the Grand Theater. My name is Todd Grisham. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. It's time for our tale of the tape. Amir King Khan tipping the scales at 140. Amir Khan. Here comes the flushing flash, Kevin Kelly, who won two Golden Glove champions while an amateur and then became a professional world title holder. He looks to pick up a big win here in this one. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Bolton, England, here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140-pound champion of the world, introducing Amir King Khan. Hiding out of the blue corner from Flushing, Queens, New York, here is the former amateur great and world title holder, introducing the WBC featherweight champion of the world, known as the Flushing Flash, Kevin Kelly. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting. What an event it will be here tonight. Todd, it's one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. What a great venue and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. And there's the bell to start the round. Continues to touch him up. Beautiful counter punch. Miss with that jab. Tried to score with the jab. Perfect counter lands. Those counter punches have to hurt. This theater is used to hosting concerts and plays, but tonight it's the sweet science that takes center stage. Kid. You cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single twitch. If you're scared, the thousands of people out here in this place, they will spot it. That fighters landing in these exchanges, Judge is going to have a tough job. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Tried to score with that hook, but missed. That hook doesn't score. Why weren't they more cautious? Oh, that changes everything! And down they go! Final 10 seconds here and a pretty dominant display. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again. the corner has to stop the fight for this fighter because he's not going to lay down. He's up, but for how long? Look at him. On the heels. It looks like it's not the best. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. He just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. And he's out of there. No rest for the weary. That 
counter shot lands. This fighter focuses on that outside game. You don't see them get hit too often. You don't see them in trouble a lot, but that's what their mantra is. It's a flat for the fight. If you've got a, a, a dancer out there in front, you've got to cut them off. Cut the wings off, make the wings small. Put them on the back foot, put them under pressure. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Tell who's stronger and who's faster. You'd like to see more jabs. Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. To make or break a fighter. They ring the bell and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers just want to mow you down. They want to walk straight through you as though you do not exist. You've got to be fit for this one. Oh, that punch. for defensive abilities. point there's no doubt who's won this round so far good for him to get back up on his feet but is he just a glutton for punishment somebody can smell blood here they can smell blood they've got to be smart get in there and boom back in the same spot again it happened once you got away with it you can do it again you've got to waste time get set behind the referee when he comes in close tie him up the referee's then got to pause walk around the ring you've just got to make the most of it because if you let him jump back on you again he's gonna get momentum and pull you down again and that's a it's been all one-way traffic with just 10 seconds to go the corner's got to take a good look at their fighter let's talk about Khan in that last round That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Johnny, I love watching these lighter fighters just based on the hand speed and the foot movement. So impressive to watch. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Catch and shoot. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Nice 
exchange here from both men. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Nice counter shot. They are not going to let this one go to the judge. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. That cut is going to cause some serious problems. Man, oh man, you know what? He's got to hope the referee doesn't jump in and stop it. And there's the bell to start the round. Can it get any better? What a round we just saw. How much energy did they use? How hard and how tough and how much they had to dig deep. This is just ridiculous. I don't know what to expect. I'm tired just watching it. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because somebody's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Scores with the counter. Hook misses. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. Those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Amir Khan is right. on his feet, but he's got to somehow turn this around. The corner needs to... Whoa, wait a minute! What a shot! Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. It's not over till it's over. Ring the bell, and here we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff. Him. What do you think of what we've seen so far from these two boxers, Johnny? I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys ringing hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Bam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. They exchange punches. They both want to knock out, you can tell. Scores with the counter. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. At the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Just missed with that hook. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hands and power. 
The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. They're going to call the doctor over in a minute to check it. There's the bell to start the round. What an action-packed round that was. Let's see what they have in store for us here. What a round. What have they got left? How can you get better than that? That is ridiculous. That's stuff you see on video games. That jab misses. Be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That hook doesn't score. Scores with the counter. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. This is a high octane battle. One punch. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. Scores with the counter. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. That cut is going to cause some problems. They might want to call a doctor over. Connerman, get your job done. Do it right. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They just gave us one hell of a round. Let's see if they'll do it again. Good work the last round. Be smart. Don't get too braggadocious. You get turned over and walk into the shot, and that's the last thing you want. And he scores with the counter. One punch changes everything in this division. It's the heavyweights. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. and forth they go. Counter punching. Every time they throw a shot, they get counter. An upset of the year, perhaps. start to the round for this guy. Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. Oh, he's up. I, I, I'd be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters... The corner's got the tower. They got... the corner has stopped it they won't be happy about that but say la vie they don't like that listen to them oh listen to that when he gets back to the gym his team is gonna give him hellfire this is what you work on as a fighter 